Hey guys, it's Alan again. I'm doing a quick late night thing. I figured I was already recording, so why not have some fun with others? And that's my lower thirds. I'm Alan Van Wert. In case you didn't know, uh, I'm the Midnight guitarist. I'm going to hope my audio is working right now. Check one, two, three. It seems to be working. All right. So anyway, you get messaged here. We're going to start up in a second. Oh, that was my own thing. All right. So we have some new subscribers to the Twitch, which is awesome. Um, so I could run those. We got, I don't even know. We got a lot of people here, don't we? I'll rerun some of these. Things. Thank you guys for following the page. It helps a lot. Um, I'm, I'm recording, I'm not really, I mean, I'm recording it, but I'm composing a guitar solo. I'm using the pick that I got from Robbie, or Rob Flynn from uh, Machine Head, because it's, it's kind of worn down, but I like the tone of this pick. Um, I am a little bit better, usually, at using my tones, but... hear the pick, that picking noise versus this. I guess it doesn't matter. It's pretty close anyway. Whatever. Um, I guess it kind of slows me down, which is cool. That's sometimes a good thing because I tend to play too fast a lot of times. Hey, Hulk, what's up? Uh, yeah, I'm playing with um, a wah pedal sound today. I'm doing the wah pedal. I'm using the same wah setup um, that Kirk Hammett would typically use, which is like a lot of that. Um... And I like to use my wah pedal for rhythms. Uh, an example, in my song, uh, the solo that I'm composing right now, it goes... Let me drop down just a touch. There we go. It goes... So you can hear, I'm not going... I'm going... Now I have a question. I have a couple variations, and you guys maybe you could pick out the two notes. I could go like this. Here's number one. Oh, sorry. There's one. Again. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. Sorry. It's like doing that. But I don't know which one I like the most, so. There's one. Sorry. Two. Three. Sorry. Four. I don't know. It's such an octave displacement down two octaves like that, but it's kind of cool when I can get away with it. So uh, compositionally, I don't know. But I, I will play over my, I'll record my solo while you guys are watching me, I guess. Because uh, I have no fear, and if I screw up, whatever. You know, uh, it's, it's Some of this stuff is tough sometimes. <laughs> my guitar solos um, tend to be, here's the thing, this song is my song Tough, which is supposed to feel tough. So I want like a little bit of grit in my plane. So here's what I'm doing. Oops, I screwed up a bunch, but that's the... I'm going to have to retake that. Um, I already have like a decent take or two on here, so it's not the end of the world anyway. But uh, I don't like making mistakes. You know? Let's see if I can move the screen over a little bit more here. Hang on. If I could just move my screen. Oh, i gotta, I got to put you guys up on the screen, damn it. Here, here's the chat box. Sorry. A little bit late with doing that. 
There you are. Not that I can read it because I'm pretty far, but I can read my other window here. All right, so let me try this again. You see where I'm going with this rhythmic? They got that cool little swing feel to it. So I gotta keep that for later reference. Um, the beginning I was messing up real bad. Let me try to retake that a little bit cleaner. So we have, um, or, Because down here, I went, um... Here's what I'm doing. My vibrato. 
One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I have a triplet. A Gone when it all goes wrong. I had the gone when it all goes wrong. Gone when it all goes wrong. But actually, that versus. No, we go back to that note, so. I'll stick with that. sound crazy to you guys I'm sure but I'm gonna bring up my drums a little bit here just temporarily um, hang on, let me see how do I want to do this safely I can bring up the input game just so I remember later Clipping. Let me uh, put a little master. Gone when it all goes wrong. That could work. That's good enough for the moment. All right. Gone when it all goes wrong. All right. All right. Now that's. It feels like I'm ahead of the beat. I don't know if it's my recording while I have you guys on. Let me try. I gotta test something out. I gotta do. This is my little test I do here. Gone when it all goes wrong.
enough, but I feel like I'm a little bit, there's something, I think the latency of the recording is doing something weird because I'm on with you guys. Just a tiny, a tiny, tiny bit, it's coming out early. I'm Go! I got these in So let me get to the um let me get to that last section there real quick. <laughs> So Let me see. I'll re record it. By the way, if you guys have a question or something, let me know. I'm just, I know this is a late, weird session. Uh, hang, on, hang on, hang on. Am I seeing not, not seeing the text today, or is it just too late? I could listen to play forever. That's, a, that's the other day. Hang on. Mesmerized. All right, yeah, we're, okay, it's just me. All right, so here we go. Okay, so that part, 
What is that? I do that before. It was, it was a little bend or something. Alright, so... See if that's the right lid. So weird there's a weird little thing. the phrase. Alright, let me let me try to record this part. Sorry if this is getting annoying.
along those lines all right I can't remember but there was also Sucker up. My freaking, what is this thing doing? That's in the harmony, the, the rhythm part. I got. I might do that. When it all goes wrong. Nobody's talking. Jesus Christ.
So if you guys didn't notice the compositional trick I'm using here, what tune am I? Oh, you can't hear what I'm doing? Jesus Christ. All right, hang on, John. That, thanks for stopping in. This whole time, I thought you guys could hear me. Is my guitar too quiet? Where are we at here in my mix? Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here you go. How's that? I didn't realize what was going on with my guy. I have a different audio mix. There we go. Nice to see you guys. Sorry. So now let me try it again. Compositionally, what I was doing here is um, uh, I was doing this cool thing where I repeat a phrase an octave higher, but I cut it short and go to a, a variation, which is not so uncommon. So we're going. Right, so let me try to. Now I'm going to mess up. Now you guys are here. When it all goes wrong. way to it yeah it's the weirdest thing it's like nobody even told me that this whole time all right so here let's try it toughest part I think and I have a couple I was gonna ask you guys earlier uh, the chat's not working yeah this this chat thing so I'm gonna have to switch it up honestly maybe I'll just go to only twitch or something anybody who's not on twitch go go and follow me on there that way we, you could because I'll see the text on there but everything else it, it's it's all messed up I don't get them all the time um, if I only did the twitch stream I get the text but because I'm multi-streaming it scripts, I might quit the multi-streams. So this phrase here, um, let me see. Song surgeon. You want me to slow it down? Here, I'll slow it down. All right, so here's the solo in slow motion. <laughs>
Here's the song. So the first majority of that is pretty good. It's getting there. I turned, by the way, I turned up the drums a lot so I could stick time. It's really important for me to to uh, be on time uh, on this because I'm playing swing. So let me. I'm gonna take the drums back down to where they were in volume. Um, maybe I'll still be able to nail it here. We'll see. Let's give it a shot. It's it's true. If I'm not, because here's why. When I'm playing this, I'm going. <laughs> So the wah pedal is on quarters on my vibrato's triplets. I thought about going, oh, here's the other options, I was going to go. That was my first thing, and I was like, ah, and then... Something like that, I was like, ah, it, does, it doesn't fit. And then I thought... Or... Or... But the thing is going. It's a two octave jump, and it sounds like a little bit weird, so. So I just did that instead. What do you guys think?
So my ear sometimes plays the right note in the wrong position. So I don't want to go. I gotta go. So. Listen back because maybe it's horribly, it's it's horrible or something. I'll be embarrassed. All right, any questions? My mic's too freaking low. It's too far actually. Here, here. There you go. Now here's the trick. What am I drinking today? I'm eating cowboy cookies. How about that? And I will drink. What time is it? Mm. Oh, no caffeine. I'm going to have some Sprite. Thank you. Sprite. I look like Alan fucking Hallsworth with this. Hey, guys. How come you can't play my licks? It's not like I have a bigger hand or anything. I'm Andre the Giant. The Dread Pirate. I am the Dread Pi Giant Hands. Alright. Alright, let's make up a new fucking solo. Sorry, I shouldn't curse. I know there's some kids sometimes that watch. <laughs> John, five years ago the hell you've been gone for five years listen I'm glad you're back doing guitar stuff with me this is cool I'm sorry it's been a couple weeks since I've been on too I think it's been like two weeks I got really busy I've had some I have a I've had a lot of crazy stuff going on here honestly and it's not just me it's it's a lot of things around me are kind of crazy right now um I wasn't even going to do this tonight, to be honest. I, I thought about it. I felt guilty that I haven't been on it so long. I said, screw it. i got to get on here. Um, so I threw on my light so I look okay. And um, I was already messing with my solo, trying to compose and relearn some of my parts. So I figured, screw it. My friggin' knee is killing. Anybody else have a problem with their knee hurting when you, when you have it in one position elevated too long? I have it up like this. It starts to friggin' ache. But I can only keep it there so long. Uh, it's on my footstool, you know? Oh, damn. What time is it? It sucks. I gotta get going soon. You know, it's there's never enough friggin' time in the day. I was busy all day. I was watching... Um, my, my younger daughter likes... Meniscus, dude, they're not gonna check anything with me. They're gonna just say I'm too too fat. That's that's it. They're like, well, you have to lose hundred pounds, Alan. That's your problem. And every everything, every single one of my issues is hundred pounds. It is. And I'm, I mean, I gotta not eat these cowboy cookies, number one. But um, I have to get back to my weightlifting routine and exercise. A magnet. I don't think I have one here, but 
the hell? I don't know about a magnet. Christ. I gotta do something, though. It's mo It's because of this... If I keep it in this position... Um, when I give guitar lessons, it's on this stool. When I'm recording, it's on this friggin' stool. And it elevates it, and it just keeps it in that position. I guess it's bad. It's... It's... It's a problem. This also, this knee had a bad injury when I was a kid. I had this psychopath friend who, I was playing touch football in the backyard. Actually, it's probably tackle football. We used to, be, we were really rough, but tell Gon Gonzalo he's a scumbag and nobody wants him. He has a bathtub out in his front yard. He has a window right in front of his toilet at, at eye level, at, at knee level. <clears throat> nobody wants that guy around. He's, fil he's filthy. Velasco. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay, so yeah, I was playing um, football in my backyard. And this friend I had that was nuts, he came up the street and he saw me. Like, he wasn't even playing football. He had nothing to do with what we were doing. But he chased me down like a crazy dog or something. And, like, it was after the play. It had nothing. Plus, he wasn't even there playing. He was, had nothing to do with it. He just showed up and started chasing after me. Tackled me. So and I fell... I fell down. Oh yeah, actually, speaker magnet. Oh, you're talking about to keep my my knee up. Maybe. So I fell to my left, and my knee was stuck. My knee was like, ended up going kind of up here, or my foot ended up up here. So it bent my knee instead of bending for backwards, it bent sideways and broke, like the tendon or something in there. And it was, dude. It I couldn't walk. I really couldn't walk on it. And I'm pretty good with like just saying screw it. I couldn't get up. I kept falling over. Then my brother came over and kept spitting on me because he thought he it would trick me to get me mad so I'd get up. Or he's just an asshole sometimes. I don't know what he was doing, but he, he was spitting on me. And I kind of wanted to murder him in that moment. And like, Who does that? Who does... Like, I just broke my leg or something. I couldn't walk. And he's like, get up. He's cursing, spitting. And uh, then the doctor, some Asian... Maybe Korean, I forget, but this doctor, um, I, w I went up to the to the hospital, and he kept shoving his thumb real hard into my knee, and I was crying. I said, that, why are you doing this? It hurts. It was horrible. And then I had to wear crutches, or use crutches for a while. And that's this knee. It's the same knee, so I have a feeling I'm screwed for life now with this damn thing. Because it is cold weather out, maybe it's doing something weird. I also, same side, my left side, this collarbone, clean, broken half from skiing when I was a kid. Uh, what else? Fingers broken, toes. My neck got sprained for a while. That was that was really bad, too, I guess. Got knocked unconscious like three freaking times for over a minute. That's not good. From hitting my head. That might explain some stuff some days. Happy holidays, Steve. He's not here telling everybody he wants to, the, to know it. But yeah, my kids were up visiting with me today, having a nice time, and uh, we were watching Nailed It on TV, and that's a funny show. And um, the older one's on the computer going crazy. She loves this computer I built for her. She's having a ball on it. But, uh, oh, I feel, I feel the feel the tired coming I could feel it so anyway I was doing this thing on the guitar now if you don't know what a wah pedal is I go so if you're wondering what my guitar tone is I'm using don't get a table saw why what do you think I'm gonna do with that I was thinking actually so I, I well I don't have to build well I kind of do have to build some but I have to wait on it now because of the COVID um, I was going to build a little library outside, but, um, oh, you'd think because I'm at, because I cause accidents, I, I'm accident prone. It's not the accident prone. I did fall down the steps three times last couple of years, but I don't think it's so much accident prone as, as it is, um, I was in bad environments at times, like where I shouldn't have been. What are you doing with that table saw? All right, number one, a table saw is probably more safe for me because I use the, the hand saw. I just go across stuff with it. I do think before I do it, I think I'm like, everything's out of the way of the saw. My hands don't go near it except for holding it, and I keep this one. 
And I look at it, and I think about it, but it still scares me. Because one of my uh, guitar friends, it's a student that I had for a while through a group lessons. Really nice guy. He does um, woodworking, carpentry, or, or wood. Oh, I forget the right name for it, but he builds stuff. He took off half of his hand. And uh, it sucks. And now he's, he's doing other things. He's still playing guitar, which is amazing. But The wagon. First of all, nobody calls it a wagon unless you're in New Jersey or something weird like that. Do you guys call shopping carts wagons like Steve? Your cut has thumb making a Marshall cab. Wait, what happened? Are you saying you cut your thumb making a cabinet? Your thumb? That's not good. I broke my thumb somehow as a kid once, like somewhere up in here, with my picking hand. And I just kept practicing guitar anyway. And I actually felt like I was better with the broken thumb. It, was it did something to help me out for a little bit there. The saw got him. Yeah, that's, that sucks, man. You guys have any guitar questions? I mean, I'm, I'm a good guitar teacher sometimes. <laughs> if you have a question, let me know. Because I do have to get going pretty soon, unfortunately. Steve wants me to um, play video games with him. Um, which I will. I'll do, I'll do it. I've been busy all day. I didn't get a chance to stop. As soon as everybody left, I had to come down here to do my... Um, little bit of recording time I get today to get that song hopefully done soon that's that's tough by the way if you guys are into video games on the computer epic games launch right now for the next well it's been 15 days all together they're doing it um, every every day there's a new free game so it's, it's awesome how can you build up speed the general answer that works for anything, if it's picking, legato, phrase, anything um, with guitar, you need to practice slow enough so you could notice what your body's doing for errors. There you go. If you're, Yeah, if you want to develop your picking speed, ultimatepicking.com is the best resource for doing that. That's, speci that's only for picking, but it's the best thing for picking. So if that's what you're asking about, that's definitely a great thing to do. But besides that... Um, the general answer always is to practice things slow and perfect without any mistake. And you have to not just be happy to not make mistakes, you have to um, remove any wasted motion. So, for instance, if I'm practicing this, if I'm doing, thank you, Steve. So, if I'm doing that thing and I'm playing it slow, I'm going. Now, there's two things that are bad. Number one, my index is picked up when it doesn't need to be. My pinky's coming out way too far. Um, now, if I go slow, like this, I can fix it. So nice and slow, perfect practice, and then when you get it perfect in the way you want to program your body to react the, the right way for you, then you gradually speed that up. The trick is, there's there's one extra step here that a lot of people don't know, and this is, I think, what makes the difference for me, for being super fast when people wonder why that, why can't they do it with practice. Um, I, I find out what my body wants to naturally do when it goes fast, and then I practice that in slow motion. So, for instance, most people practicing slow will do this thing. They'll pick like that, or they'll go like this. Um, I practice like this. Six hours a day for twenty years. That's I know that it's true. I did I did spend a lot of time practicing, so it doesn't immediately ha happen. But um, the way you practice will shortcut a lot of time that I wish I could have, but I, I didn't have anybody 
showing me this cool stuff I figured it out on my own randomly. Um, I wish I could go back and teach myself because that would have saved probably 10 to 15 years off of the time it took, maybe more. So basically, what I'm showing there is that I take any wasted motion. Base Well, first I base it off of what my body naturally should be doing when I'm playing as fast as I can, even if I'm making mistakes. So if I try to do it and I go, I can't do it right now, I'm all wasting motion. That motion is coming from my elbow. So now I say, okay, well, what if I do that but perfect? What if I don't waste any motion but use my elbow? Yeah, nice and slow and perfect, but doing what you want to do when you're going to play fast. Don't practice slow some different way than when you speed up change. That's not, that's stupid. That's what most people do, and for some reason they think that's going to work. Um, I luckily caught that before I said, well, wait a minute. If I'm doing this when I'm going faster, why don't I fix that slow? And that works. And you want to use a metronome or a drum beat or something that you could statically play over without any worry. <laughs> That's not too bad. I don't know. A lot, it, I, I honestly don't even know. It's some kind of guy who does, like, um, I think, guitar product reviews online. He's he's played guitar, metal music, I think, something. I, I'm really not so, so sure, though. You overrun your notes hard to get them clean? Eric Johnson, what do you mean? I love Eric Johnson. I don't, well, if I set that up, it's going to change my tone, but... Let me switch it to Eric Johnson tell him before I go screw it. I already saved my project, I think. Here's my own Eric Johnson tone I built. Thank you. 
Yeah, this tone's pretty good. take my blood pressure pills. Steve, did you want to meet me on that PlayStation? By the way, anybody else, if you want to meet us on the PlayStation.
freaking hard. Thank you. Hey, Vulture, guys. Listen, you guys, I do have to head out. I have to get upstairs, take my blood pressure pills because I'm so damn fat. Actually, it's probably mostly stress. Lifetime of stress will do that. But uh, also, let me turn off my wah pedal on my heater. But yeah, if you guys would please hit follow on Twitch and all that stuff, uh, that would be very helpful. For oh, I'm sorry, I changed my camera angle again. I keep changing it to the wrong freaking things. There we go. Anyway. Katana on her. Oh, I'm using... Oh, do you have advice for a new amp? Uh... If your budget, budget's within Katana 100 and Black Star... Honestly, I would say get a Kemper. But if you definitely want um, a speaker with an amp in it and all that... The Katana, I did demo, and it does sound really good. I, honestly, it does. It sounds great. I'd probably go with the, uh, what is that, Boss? Roll, Roland Boss, the Katana. Um, I don't know if you need, a, is that 100 watts? That sounds, that's like a lot of power. But those are supposed to sound even better than the one I demoed. So I would say, yeah, that one's, that's a really good choice. They do sound awesome. They have the same clean setup, I think, as the JC120, which is really nice for the Jazz Chorus clean thing. And then uh, you could get a good Eric Johnson tone out of it. I did, screwing around once. So if you're into that sound I have today, messing around, you could get, get that out of it pretty good. For gigging, ooh, all right. Um, the, Katana, the Katana, I keep calling it, saying it weird. That's a good one. Yeah, it is, it is. Um, the thing about it is if you're going to be playing live, you want something easy to carry around. I, I use my Kemper Live or I was before COVID, but I use that Kemper Life because it's so easy to carry, and it sounds awesome in the mix with the for the sound man. You don't have to do anything, really. It just sounds nice. So I suggest that. I know it's a little bit more expensive than some of the little amps. It's like 1400 ish on average, 1300 depending. Um, but I do have to head out. I'm really sorry. I don't mean to quick go, but I've been trying to get out of here, actually, because I do have to get up before it's too late to get those pills, or else I'm in trouble. All right. Well, I'll see you next time. Follow me on this thing so you'll know when I'm on again. It'll, it'll send you an a invitation thing. And then um, we could, we'll could we talk about this more. We'll plan it out. In fact, I might have some demo On my YouTube, I might have demos of the Katana and the Black Star I've used, but I didn't have demos of it. I used it in a studio once years ago. That sounded good, too. It really did. It reminded me of like a Marshall for some reason. But then again, I haven't played tons of those either, so maybe my, my hearing's off. Who the hell knows? But all right, guys, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for stopping in. You too, John. And have a really good, uh, if I don't see you guys soon, have a good holiday and everything. Be safe out there. <laughs>